here we're exploring the equation of a circle in the plane. So a circle is described as the set of all ordered pairs x, y that are a fixed distance of r, the radius, away from a center point. And we define our center point here as the ordered pair h, k. Now the equation for this circle is defined as follows. We have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the radius squared. Now again, I think it's, it's rather natural at this point to think, where does this equation come from? And again, this actually comes from Pythagorean's identity. So let's see how this relates to Pythagorean's identity by establishing a right triangle on our circle. So notice here, from the center point at hk to any point xy on the circle itself, we have our radial length r. And we can create ourselves a right triangle using those points. So the length of the base of our right triangle is going to represent a from Pythagorean's theorem. And this is going to be the change in your x values. So we can think about the change in x, or the length x, minus the length h. So a is equal to x minus h. And the same thing for y, for the height of our right triangle. We'll call this height here b. And b is representing the change in our y values. So starting with our fixed point on the circle, here's our corresponding y value. So it's the length of y minus the length of k. So now that we have the lengths of the sides of our right triangle, we can recall Pythagorean's identity. So recall that Pythagorean's identity says that the sum of the two squares of the shorter sides is equal to the square of the longer side, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So plugging our given values in, we have the following. a is the change in our x values, x minus h squared, plus b, which is the change of the height, the change in our y values, y minus k squared, and c, the hypotenuse of our right triangle, in this case is represented by the radial length, r squared. Now there's one final important feature I want to point out to everyone in regards to the equation of a circle. And that's what we call the diameter length. So the diameter of a circle is the full length of the circle. So from a fixed point on our circle, all the way to the other side. So this line represents the diameter. And we can see from our graph here that our diameter is two times as large as the radius. So the diameter represents the full length of our circle, and we can relate this to the radius using the equation d for diameter is equal to two times the radial length.